overwhelmed and beating myself up. That's what happened to me the other day. Has this ever happened to you? Your to-do list is too long and maybe it's work imposed, maybe it's just life, maybe it's self-imposed. Some of us are really good at that. But I found myself in a situation where I was overwhelmed. I was beating myself up because I wasn't getting done the things that I had on my list that I created myself to do. And I was starting to spin out of control. You know that panicky feeling? That's what was going on. And all of a sudden, in this moment, I heard, ask for clarity. <laughs> so simple. It's so easy to forget that we have our inner guidance, our intuition that we can just tap into and it is there for us. And so that simple act of asking for clarity was so powerful. So at that point, I went into a meditation for clarity. And so if you're feeling overwhelmed, if you felt overwhelmed, or even if you're not, come along and do this meditation with me for clarity. So go ahead and get comfortable. Sitting up is fine. You don't have to be sitting lotus style <laughs> with nothing to support your back. I have a pillow behind my back. So just make sure you're comfortable. You can be laying down if you wish. I fall asleep when I lay down, so I like to sit up. But whatever you need to do to get comfortable. This is not a long meditation, but it is pretty powerful. So just begin to get comfortable. Your hands can rest in your lap. If you decide to do this, it, it may get tiring after a little while. I like to put my hands over my heart. And sometimes I switch. And then you can bring them down to your lap. Whatever you want to do with your hands. So you're just relaxing and getting comfortable. Relaxing and getting comfortable. And just begin to notice your breath. Notice how it feels as you inhale and as you exhale. Maybe breathe in to the count of six. Two, three, four, five, six, and exhale a little bit longer. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So inhale to the count of six and exhale to the count of eight. Whatever's comfortable for you. Just focusing on that breath, mindful breathing. And I'm going to begin with a little opening prayer. We surround ourselves with a bubble of white light, God's love and light. We're so thankful for this time to know ourselves, to be in this moment, and to just be. And continue that mindful breath. Your eyes can be closed. It helps to block out all the stimuli that's in the room. Or you can focus your attention on an object, a plant or something. A candle if you have a candle going. I like to close my eyes. I use an eye mask for this as well, but it's in the other room. So we're just settling in.
and we're asking, please show me clarity in this situation. Please show me clarity. Help me to see clearly. Now at this point, just breathe. You might notice your mind is running and you're thinking a lot of thoughts right now. Just kind of observe that as you would a ticker tape or a movie objectively as a bystander. your mind is too distracting, you can focus on a mantra, repeating of a word. In this case, maybe clarity, repeating that. Clarity. 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 Continuing that mindful breathing. Pay attention to any little glimpses you might get. A fleeting thought. An idea. This is the point where we don't want to rush it. Take your time. And notice. You might notice a fog lifting. Maybe be a visual like that. You may notice that there's lightness coming into your awareness. Everyone experiences this different, differently. But the key is to pay attention. And continue your mindful breathing. Inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the nose. Now here you can pause the video and spend as much time in this space as you need because this is really something you want to take some time with or well, you can come back to this video at any time. And you may be thinking, well, I don't feel anything or see anything. It doesn't seem like anything's happening. Trust that your subconscious is receiving clarity. Trust that clarity is going to come with you within hours of this meditation or within the next few days. So if meditation is not in your practice, and you don't regularly meditate, then it, it may take a, a few times of doing this to tap in to that inner wisdom. 
it's a practice. So don't be discouraged if you're not seeing, feeling, hearing anything, but trust that it is coming. Just be aware of closing too soon and returning to the overwhelming thoughts. And if these thoughts, if and when these thoughts do occur, just take three mindful breaths and say thank you for clarity in this situation. And trust that you will receive clarity. And pay attention, pay attention, be aware. And as always, we close our meditation with gratitude. I am so thankful for the insight that I received today and the insight I will receive. Thank you for this clarity. And so it is. Thank you. One really powerful way to follow up on this meditation is to grab your journal and write about your experience. And a lot of times, journaling is like meditation. It is a practice. It takes doing it daily, even a little bit at a lot at a time, even doing it a little bit at a time will make a big difference. In this case, you can just write down what you did, what you felt, if you saw or heard anything. Just allow the writing. You might notice you start writing all the things that are overwhelming you in the moment because that's what brought us here in the first place, right? And that's okay. Sometimes a good brain dump on paper is what we need, and that's okay to do that. Now, do pay attention when you're journaling because you might have a fleeting thought that you might even notice, but sometimes those fleeting thoughts are a seed to clarity. So pay close attention even as you're writing and letting that writing flow. So just allow whatever comes into your mind to flow into your journal. It is a great practice paired with meditation. You will gain even more insights into what you are learning into yourself and into this thing called life that we are all in. Meditation is a practice. Journaling is a practice. Those two together contribute significantly to your well-being. That's a great starting place. Uh, maybe you're thinking, well, I want to lose weight. Well, sometimes meditating and getting yourself in the space, in the present moment, leads to a better understanding of what foods I should eat and what exercise I should do. It just kind of makes everything fall into place. It is a foundation. So if you haven't tried meditation, just a few minutes a day is so powerful. Following that up with journal journaling, that's the icing on the cake. So those two together, good stuff for your body, for your well-being, for your mind and your soul. Journal and meditate. Future you will thank present you. And until next time, May you experience clarity in your everyday life. Bye.